It is unfortunate that the best arc of SAO has ended. First, we had ALO, so peak, so good. That racist fairy game was the best thing I've ever seen. And then they surpassed that with the Tonki arc. Three episodes of the best anime I've ever seen. And now we begin the Mother Rosario arc. A lot of people say, skip this shit, man. Let's just go into season three. And a lot of other people are saying, y'all don't even recognize the hype that is Mother Rosario. Hopefully, the latter is the truth. Let's begin today's reaction. We're in 2026, baby, in the future. She said the same shit and is this she reading fucking English? It's the same shit. Silica is the cutest. They're studying in game. Rather than being normal people and going to a library and studying, they logged into a game to study. Amazing. This is peak. Shinonon? <laughs> <笑>あったかすぎるかな。温度を下げようか。あれ<笑><笑> It's just pretty chill, winter times, you know? Is Eagle gonna talk? <laughs> Tiffany? Omatase. Oh, he's talking! They didn't give him any budget for the first, how many episodes? Like 18, 17 episodes? And now, the latter half. Is he even gonna be in the Mother Rosario arc? Is he even gonna gump game with us? I feel like he's just become like a bar man, you know, that people just kind of crash to like hang out there. <laughs> That's an insult? That's, that's not a guy anyways. <laughs> How the fuck is the Grand Wizard Asuna getting Tiffany's good graces while Kirito is doing the opposite? The, the, the script has changed. Yeah. I mean, Kirito's also living a stream right now because of Asuna, and then we have an additional harm of girls, endless girls that we keep meeting in the fucking games. And then what did Klein get? He almost had Freya, who turned into Thor, and now is gone. Oh, wait! There was, uh, the, the Cord? What was her name? The Valkyrie. Cord, was it? You know? She was an NPC, but she, like, left behind, like, sparkle bubbles, and Klein was like, Earth? I forget. And then, and then Klein was like, oh, NPC bubbles! And Elizabeth was like, I guess I kind of respect you more now. I, I think the true ship for Klein is Elizabeth. I, I think those two, because Elizabeth shits on Klein, something about that feels like a bantering ship, right? Thank fucking God that his wife didn't... Sh that would make the story so interesting. If Egil came in with the wife and then, you know, like trying to protect the wife and the marriage and stuff like that, that would have definitely added a layer to Tiffany's character in game rather than him just being a blacksmith and showing up for important scenes. What's she doing now? Are we ever going to see his wife? Are we never going to see his wife, bro? Is she real? Not 7 up, 9 up. <laughs> Her dad is a fucking idiot, to be honest, but she is like such a rich, rich girl. Yeah, 
And we have a daughter! We have an AI daughter! True love! Yeah, rip our cabin, man. Are we going back there? Is the fishing man still there? Imagine the fishing dude is still there. <laughs> new pass? New pass coming in. Lore's 21 to 30. Oh, I thought that the Ruby Palace was ready, and I was questioning, why aren't we going up there? Isn't Kaiba waiting for us at the very top? But floors 21 to 30 of new Iron Crowd has just been unlocked. So they're slowly releasing the floors, huh? Is Kaiba up there? Because he's obviously not the developer of new Iron Crad. Someone else is doing this shit, right? How does that work? <laughs> Yeah! And the fisherman will be there too, maybe. Please, God, let us have that cabin. What if someone else has that cabin already, bro? Is this, like, what? Did Mother Rosario buy that cabin? And now this arc is like, landlord rights? We gotta fucking beat- That's, that's our house, bitch! I beat it first! That's my cabin! Christmas Eve. Oh, update was Christmas Eve, as in that passed already. We're already late to it. We're already late because that's a new year. We're late. Swordland! What is that symbol? <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? Was that Agil? Wait, 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 wait. Is that Agil? He, I don't remember him having this mark, but these are new designs, right? Oh my god, he's back! Holy shit, he's playing with us! No client, though? What about Mjolnir? You should let Agil use the hammer if he can. This is my favorite part of Swordlands. Even more than coffee pasta. Oh, it's Shino. See, 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 every time. Shino just comes in clutch every fucking time. Every time Shino does something, it's just like peak, bro. The switch happening with Swordland playing. And now what? Now we can get our cabin? Cabin! Oh no, is it gone? <laughs> Surprise, we don't use the wings during flight. Shouldn't we be like abusing? Should we not be abusing the flight mechanics during the fights? Maybe they have it such that like when you're in combat, you're not allowed to. But Aloy, you could back then, right? It wouldn't be OP to just like keep flying and maneuvering around the monsters and kite like that. I gotta see Agil with these fairy wings, man. Just a big black dude with the little fairy wings is gonna be so funny. Oh shit, it's there, man! <laughs> For sale, can we afford it though? Surely we can. If we can, that's so troll. Bye. Yeah? 500,000. We're a family. <laughs> we got it. We're back to being uh, cabin owners. Who's, whose money did we just use there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who's, whose money did we just use there? Kirito just low key just let us buy everything. <laughs> he, he totally just did. <laughs> Asuna was so, so caught up in the moment of like, you know, fucking. All oh, right, shared inventory system. Are we married in game? Are, are we married in game right now? I forgot about the mechanic, right? Shared inventory system if you're married. <laughs> oh, Yui's back in big form! Where is Mother Rosario? Yui, this is where I fucked your mom. Aww. <laughs> Oh, even the intro scene when they were studying, they were in the cabin? What were they actually? It's 11.22 right now. Were they? They, they kind of were. 
Oh, they, they, they were already there. I see, I see, I see, I see. I thought this is like some random place in ALO. See, I'm not sure. ALO and I, uh, it's different. Because like, ALO is the overworld, and New Minecraft is the floating castle that we went in there right now, right? How does that work? Because like the game's merged, but New Minecraft is basically a floating castle. The castle is floating, and then it, it's within ALO, and then the overworld is just all ALO, the stuff we know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We basically took the castle and put it in ALO, yeah. Someone that surpasses Zaza? We have Zekken? Oh shit. Kirito can't let that happen. He's the strongest swordsman. Zekken is Johnny Black, guys. Okay,お嬢様。Not even Wolan. Super old-fashioned, right? Super traditional. Bald. <laughs> what are these fucking EK men, dude? <laughs> Look at a bunch of pretty boys trying to court Asuna right now. Milady, may I take you to a dance? No! I have a Discord boyfriend! Boring! I don't know. Not sure what's going on here. The three dudes, it seems like they were just trying to court Asuna. But this is... They're hiding his face. Government dude? Random person? Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe this is Johnny Black. Hmm. Maybe that's Zekken. ちょっと嫌なこと思い出しちゃって。何それ。京都でお見合いでもさせられ。冗談冗談。それで強いってその人。No it's illegal for Celica to be this cute. Oh, this is kind of hype. There's a special place for duels? That's the second? No, or someone else. <laughs> what did he type on the fucking board? <laughs> did he say some audacious shit like, I am the strongest. I wish to no defeat. Come at me. Okay. Bro's a monster, okay. Fight in the air, not just fly, right? Because I was like, if you took you six months to actually learn how to fly, I don't know what to tell you. Akirito figured that shit out like literally like one episode in. She is just... Hey, she's cute. She can get away with it. Sirika <laughs> versus Zekin, bro. <laughs> Kirito should go fight Zekin. さっきの絶景の話だけど、ちょっとんじゃないの？されがそうでもないんです。かけネタがとんでもないんですよ。プライ。アイテムじゃないんです。なんとオリジナルソードスキルをかけてるんです。技級のやつ。What is one hand sword. 11 hit combo. OP ass skill. Alright, we gotta fucking get that. Eugene mentioned! This fucking coward. You said you were gonna help us at the end of ALO, bro. He's like, <laughs> son of a or something. And then 
Bro, he didn't fucking show up at the tower, man. Yushi didn't fucking show up. So we have a new skill that power creep set. Plus three on top of that. <laughs> well, we didn't get to see it, but basically this is the 11 hit combo right now from Zekken. Just lights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Clyde! Clyde! <laughs> Look! It's fucking Clyde, bro! He wants to fucking skill! Clyde, it ain't no way Clyde's fucking getting this. Looking like Final Fantasy. Leafa couldn't do it. Yo, someone call Recon. Then he tried. Just like basic normal attacks. Imp? Race Imp. Interesting. I didn't know that. So it's not like only Imps can use it, but the skill. What? Race and weapon. Race of what? The skill? He's an imp? Zekin's an imp? Zekin's an actual imp? He's so big though. Imps are tiny. How did it take you this long? Holy fuck, you just went through every fucking person. I wonder who could defeat the Zekin if this master swordsman who's good with sword. Gee, I wonder if we only had the black swordsman. Jesus Christ, everything point towards him. Come on. Duh. You know what? I do kind of appreciate these cunny ass, you know, wholesome, like, slice of life moments with the cut quattro, man. Shino's not here because she's studying, but you know what? I, I do enjoy just, like, the comfortable vibes here. Oh, he already lost? <laughs> well, he fought and lost? Koichanなんだけど、あの次元の戦闘となると、私程度じゃ本気かそうな。キリトは二刀流じゃなかったし、そういう意味じゃ全力ってことにはならないんだろうけど、私思うんだ。多分、もうノーマルなゲームの中じゃ。It's hard to push him that hard because there's nothing on the line anymore and everything has become low stakes things. All right, someone kidnap Asuna. Second kidnap Asuna. Second kidnap all the fucking girls, threaten their lives, fucking Johnny Black show up. I don't know, try to try to kill them. Kirito then has to actually try and then yeah, he'll do it. I'm sorry, girls. You got you gotta get put in danger from Kirito, guys. I'm sorry. He was crying a little bit. Oh. He says some communication and then. He told him something, then he got hit by an attack. Wonder if he lost intention. What could he have said there? I know who you are, Johnny Black. It's showtime. It's showtime. <laughs> Maybe Asuna will be the one to win it. 11 hit attack from Asuna? Asuna! Light Flash! Whatever her, you know, nickname was in season 1. Silica's tail fucking wagging. Why is Silica so goddamn fucking cute, bro? Oh! She can go back from Silf- Oh, interesting. Cool? Cool? Oh, it's not gonna happen today, bro. You gotta fucking cliffhanger me with this bullshit. Oh my god. Silica. Pina. Wait. They drew on Kirito, look. Because? Because? The dual Kirito is admitting that the dual wheel skill, which only happened because he had the fastest reaction time, should have gone to Zekin, not me. Really? Really?
It's just hard for me to accept because Kirito himself has been asleep the entire time. And the fight, we didn't really get to see it. Everything has been kind of off screen. We're retelling the events of the past, but I find it's hard to fucking believe. Really? Someone beyond Kirito for reactions? <laughs> but he's the fucking react god. Like what? Like this random person shows up and you tell me he is the true dual wield user instead of Kirito? I can't believe that. And that's it from me, man. Today's episode was kind of like obviously set up. We're getting used to a new arc. This is called Mother Rosario arc, but not a single time did we hear about a person named Mother Rosario. Instead, we heard of this person named Zekken. And Zekken just showed up as a converted player who also was not an SAO off of the assumption that he is the one that should have gotten the dual wielding skills. And he just beaten everybody in a duel. How is he Mother Rosario? Were we Mother Rosario the entire time? I don't know, but it's looking like Asna will go dual Zekken. And if she wins, she gets the OG skill. There's also the interesting thing of, you know, Kirito versus Zekken and how they clash swords and he didn't say anything and then he lost. Wonder what he said there. It's cooking up a pretty interesting premise so far. And the whole dual aspect, I love it. Zekin, I hope, is an actual, not a joke character, but an important person. And next episode, you know, the duel with Zekin and Asna, I'll be there. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more time, for even more content. Until next time, take care.